This year, Speed Queen came out with a brand new washer. And when I say brand new, it's not really brand new. It's actually their old style machine. This is the TC5000WN, also known as the AWN632SP116TW01, also known as the Speed Queen Classic. Speed Queen decided to reverse course and create a washing machine that actually has the tub separated from the agitator again, just like most normal machines work. After their disastrous launch of the TR series washer, they decided to bring back the 2017 version and just rename it the TC series washer. Their new console is actually a blend between their 2018 TR series and their 2017 version. Let's have a closer look. Starting from the left, you'll see that it has four wash temperature controls, hot being straight hot, warm being a just about a 50-50, the cool is somewhere between straight cold and warm, and then obviously the full cold fill. For options, it has an extra rinse, extra rinse with pre-soak, and also a heavy soil switch, which is a pretty special switch to use. This washer also has a deep fill option. These buttons are kind of weird. Their capacitive touch means there's no actual click or feeling when you touch them. You just put your thumb on it and a little blue light will illuminate and that'll let you know that the option is active. The start button's just the same way. The cycle selector has six options, five usable cycles, delicate, normal, permanent press, heavy duty, and the bulky sheet cycle. The spin cycle doesn't really count, it's just a spin, it's not actually a usable cycle. Washer is equipped with a standard motor and a transmission, yay! They brought back their old tried and true reliable technology. This washer actually achieves some good turnover and it does a pretty respectable job washing. This is a full load of my shop towels and as you can see, something's happening over here. Like it's actually doing some work. Let's go over some of the cycles. The pre-soak option and the extra rinse are the same for every cycle if you choose them. And as you can see, the cycles vary between 27 minutes all the way up to about 32 minutes being the longest cycle. Now, if you pick the heavy soil feature, you could see that some of those times go up significantly, especially on the normal eco cycle. It really kind of changes that cycle completely and turns it into a very usable uh, cycle. The agitate level is only has two speeds, high, medium. Low is actually just medium in an intermittent fashion as in it shuts off the motor and it has like these pauses between so the delicate cycle is not really a delicate wash it's just intermittent wash if that makes any sense under normal wash settings you'll generally get about a half a tub of water if you press the deep fill button you will get a full tub of water let's go over some specs the speed queen has a 3.2 cubic foot tub and weighs in at a whopping 196 pounds. It has a six cycle timer, but five usable cycles, a one half horsepower motor, and a 710 RPM final spin speed. This washer also does come with a three year parts and labor warranty, which is pretty respectable. And this costs about $1,039. This makes it one of the more expensive top loaders that you can buy. However, you're kind of getting what you pay for. This washer has a lot of steel in it and is very well constructed. The things that I like about this machine are it has great wash performance. This is one of the better washers that I've ever tested. Not the best, but definitely in my top five. The washer has a legendary build quality. This washer is Speed Queen's tried and true classic design that they've been building for years you could practically set your clock to how long this washer is going to last another great thing is that it lets in straight hot water when you set that cycle to hot you're getting hot water it doesn't mix it it doesn't temper it it doesn't mess around it does come with a full three-year parts and labor warranty which is better than most manufacturers out there the only one better is the maytag commercial with a five-year parts and labor warranty the things that I don't like about this machine is the fact that it costs $1,039. That's a lot of money for a washing machine. 
it's not that I feel that it's too expensive. I just feel like it's not quite worth it. $1,039 should get you a lot of washing machine. And this is totally a respectable washer. And I could see paying eight, $900 for this machine. But four figures, oy, I'd have to sleep on it. I guess if you just can't bring yourself to buy the Maytag commercial and you really just want to buy something else, this is your next best thing. There's no other washer on the market other than my Maytag commercial that washes better, in my opinion. The only other thing that I don't really care for, and I might just be nitpicking a little bit, is the washer is a little bit noisy. It's not any noisier than an old-fashioned washer. It just has a regular split-phase motor, and those things tend to make a little bit of a ruckus. It's not going to be as quiet as your front-load washer, but it gets the job done, and it's certainly not offensive in any way. If you're looking to buy a Speed Queen washer, or you feel like you missed out on the 2017s, this is your second chance to buy one. This washer is basically a 2017 in disguise. And if you're torn between this and the Maytag commercial washer, guys, it's really not that deep. These are both really good washers in their own respects. If you prefer performance over anything, then buy the Maytag. If you're looking for something that's tried and true and definitely made in America, and that's going to last a pretty long time and give you reasonable wash performance, then buy the Speed Queen. These washers are two of the best top load washers on the market. You're really not going to find anything better, so don't sweat it. The Speed Queen washer is definitely a great buy. If you could get past the high price tag, this is definitely a great washer to own. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.